looks like squash or something down there. Okay, we're all set up on uh, short final. If I can put the airplane right on the on the number, managing my airspeed. Got my airspeed at uh, 50, 45, 50. Uh, I'm going to set her down at about Oh, the ground effect is unbelievable today. Uh, 2458 Golf, runway 9 or left, clear for the option, wind 0406. And 5 Golf, clear for the option, wind 9 left. Three whiskey pop, contact ground point seven. Good day. Light sport three whiskey pop uh, at Alpha One to ground point seven, and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Well. Okay, after landing, throttle set, flaps are up, trim is neutral, transponder will stay on, parachute pin replaced. Uh, we check with ground control and we're ready to go. And then we'll say. Tom Amy Ground, Light Sport 153 Whiskey Pops at Alpha 1, going to spot 2. 3 Whiskey Pop, with Tom Amy Ground, taxi via Alpha. Light Sport 3 Whiskey Pop, with taxi via Alpha. Okay, we're coming back in. Uh, looks like those uh, thunder clouds have dissipated. There may be some residual moisture. Uh, here's some of our wildlife. Going off to the left, those are the culprits that uh, the controller warned me about. Okay, taxing back. Anybody else going out to fly today? Doesn't look like it. But it's, uh, it's going to be a nice day today. So anyway, I like to go out and uh, just practice uh, practice uh, in the pattern. Practice my, uh, my two-notch uh, short field landings uh, on a touch-and-go basis just to be able to put the airplane down uh, in, the, in the smallest uh, in the shortest uh, amount of available runway. Of course, I got 5,000 feet available here, but I like to use just very little bit of it. Put the airplane down right on the numbers. I try for those every time. And uh, the discipline, because you never know when you might have to actually hit your numbers in an emergency situation. And farmers out in the field with his hands picking uh, picking strawberries or tomatoes, and their trucks all around, and you've got to put the airplane down between the trucks or. After the after the workers are in their picking area, you never know. So if you just practice that ability over and over and over again, and you get greater confidence uh, operating the aircraft. Good morning, Tammy. I'm at uh, ground. Experimental 767 Delta Charlie's at the museum, and we'd like to taxi for Northwest departure with flight following the PGD this morning. We're, we're an experimental RV6. Okay, the aircraft was calling. Your radio is completely broken and unreadable. It sounds like a lot of air is rushing through the uh, speaker. Okay, we'll try it again. You tell him. You tell him, controller. And standing on the ground, uh, how do you hear this radio for RV? Better. A little better. Okay, I think I heard something about 7 Delta Charlie still uh, unreadable. <laughs> I should offer my... That's what 
it's worse. 467 Delta Charlie, I have you loud and clear now. Say again your request. Yes, ma'am. We're at the museum. We'd like to taxi for a northwest departure, and we'd like flight following at 6500 for 767 Delta Charlie. We're an experimental RV. Six. Remember 767 Delta Charlie, departure frequency 125.5, squawk 4766, and runway 9 or left, taxi via Gulf and Alpha. Uh, she was playing Okay, 125.5 and squawk 4766, and taxi to 9 or left via Gulf and Alpha, 767 Delta Charlie. Delta is correct. Ah, she she heard him all the time. Otherwise, how'd she get a squat coat so fast? Okay, at parking, parking brakes are set. Radio is off. Transponder is off. The lights are off. Mission switch is off. And battery's off. And turn it off.